Hi, hello. We're gonna turn ourselves into Satan. Maybe not Satan, just a devil. Step one, horns. We're taking beer gum. Beer gum. Y'all are making me use all my special effects makeup for the first time in like 10 fucking years. Okay, I think you have to wait for it to get tacky. It's like eyelash glue. The trouble with this is it's gonna get in my fucking hair. And this shit feels so bad when it's in your hair, dude. Dude. It always looks silly when you first start. You have to trust the process. So I have preemptively, like, <laughs> shaved part of the edge of my hair. It might look a little funny, but I don't fucking care. <laughs> Hey, we got horns. We're horny now. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little bit of liquid latex. Um, I wanted to do like an upside down cross on my head. This is our Ben Nye. I... Okay, so here's our rough map of what we are going to try and do. Um, so I'm gonna do a cheap DIY special effects effect. So basically the premise that we want, we're gonna be making a wound here. So you want to fill in a wound with like reds and then we'll fill in the inside of it. We're going to cover this all with liquid latex and we're going to actually put tissue on top of it and then cover that with more liquid latex and we're going to create like a fake skin barrier and then I'm going to cut it. Sometimes this works really well, sometimes it comes off super cheesy and it's been a really long time since I've tried to do anything like this. So I use toilet paper to create my fake skin here. You can use paper towel. You need any, any light paper that is absorbent enough be good also this is already a look let's do this and i'm going to put down a layer of liquid latex i can open it i'm worried because i didn't double check my liquid latex supply before starting this and like not a good sign oh shit never mind we're gonna get shit in here okay so Basically, we're making a little area for our paper towel wound to start. Once I get this on here, I can kind of rip it off a little bit more because, again, I don't want it to go that far. Here, oh, we're gonna get some of that out of this. Fuck. This. Too high. Perfect. We're taking more of our liquid latex. And I'm just gonna like cover this as much as I can. I don't know how well this is gonna work because I don't have a lot of liquid latex. Uh oh. The, uh, you say not working very well at all. Okay, this might not work at all. Good play. Look, well, get in there. Oh my. This is like not working. I'm gonna level with you. I don't know if this cross is gonna lurk. Very good, but we've already started it, and it's too late to stop now. <laughs> Liquid latex smells like ass. <laughs> if you've never worked with it, it smells like butt. Disgusting. Okay, 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 we got this. I'm gonna try and do one more layer. And then I think that's probably as good as we're gonna get it, and I'm just going to uh, deal with it the best that I can. So basically, I'm just like layering latex and tissue, and latex and tissue. You do, when you want to do this, try and make it as like even as a surface as possible. Clearly, that did not happen with me today because my latex hates me. Put more liquid latex on top. Really, the best that we're hoping for at this point is that I can tear at least some of it. Um, usually you want to try and make it so it's not just on the spot that you're working on, like... Bring out some of it here. Oh. Shitty edges look a little less shitty. And it all looks like just one shitty part together instead. Ready! This way it looks a little bit more cohesive peak. 
where none of the edges stick down, as opposed to just like this one chunk of my forehead that's all fishy looking for no evident reason. I'm not gonna worry about my edges too much because I don't fucking care and uh, it ain't having it today, you know? But I think a little bit more spirit gum on my edges. Feels like they're trying to pop up just. First, we're gonna put our base color on our entire face. So oh, it's looking kind of pocketed because that liquid latex did not go on very smooth. I'm going to do my best to try and pack some color into it so it'll maybe look a little less silly. But that's okay, because we are here to fuck around and have a good time. You're not here to be a professional. I wonder if I can just smear some of this white. Um, I don't know why I'm doing my ears. <laughs> like, I'm not wearing headphones, this always happens to me. I'm gonna put a little bit more white in and then I'm gonna pack it all in. I think with some clown white. So, we're gonna put some clown white in here, kind of pack it in so we don't lose the color. And then I'm gonna go through with scissors and I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna make my little upside down cross. And then we're gonna do our eye makeup. And then I'm gonna put in my teeth, and then I'm gonna put in my top, and then I'm gonna go do my hair. I haven't fully decided what I'm doing with my hair yet, and I think it kind of depends on how much time I spend doing everything else. Okay, so now I'm taking my bomb white. Okay, so we're a little bit more packed in. Obviously it looks kind of fuckered still up here, but you know, we knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> okay, so very carefully, once you've done our liquid latex, I didn't do a very deep layer, so I have to be careful with it. I'm gonna take scissors and I'm basically going to shove it in there and cut up through it and cut to make my little cross. Not working. So I've cut it, right? And you yeah, cool. Get in there. Beach. There we go. We got our cross. Perfect. Now we are going to peel the inside and fill that with red. So it looks like a wound and it pops a little bit better. And then we're going to put some black in there as well. So again, we're going back to our bed night cream here. This is to provide some definition so it pops a little bit. Because right now it kind of just looks like a weird fold in my skin. Um, and then we're also going to add some gore around the edges here. Get it in there. So oh, it looks a little silly, but we're not done yet. But it's definitely an upside down cross. That's pretty tight. Um, so we're gonna take a little bit of black. Add it in there to give it some fucking depth. And I'm just gonna like, I'm just trying to blend the edges 
by smearing shit on them, which is not really the best tactic, but we're a uh, professional here. I'm doing the same thing where I'm taking a little bit of the black. And I'm kind of just smearing it all around the edges and sort of blending it. So you can see the difference there already. It looks a little bit less like it's a clear cut circle compared to the other side, yeah? Also making sure I'm putting it in my horn. Give it some more depth as well. Perfecto. So I'm gonna do the same with a little bit of red around the horns. Tight, 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 tight. Okay, what's the next step that we do? Maybe we do our actual makeup makeup. Like our, our brows really quickly and I think our eyeshadow. And then we are going to put our tears and our contour. And then we're gonna put blood on the top half and then we're gonna do our fucking hands. Or as much as the hand as I can do because it just occurred to me that I have a relatively fresh tattoo and I probably should not put black all over it. Just a thought. We're gonna just try and do like a really heavy smoky black eye. Um, so I'm gonna be doing just red on the outside because it's my overall theme here. Okay, so we've got some red on the edges here. Perfect. Now we're gonna smear black all over it. <laughs> and we're gonna try and really pack it in. Bitch. Okay, we're looking good. Our smoky eye turned out fucking perfect. Look, this is what I wanted to achieve in fucking seventh grade when I was obsessed with my chemical romance. This was the look and I've finally done it and I'm really proud of myself. Instead, I used to just smear red lipstick on my fucking eyes because I didn't know how to do makeup. Y'all don't know how hard it was before there were internet tutorials on how to do makeup. It was just you doing dumb shit, like smearing lipstick all over your fucking face like an idiot. What <laughs> about our friggin' lashes, eh? The surefire way to make my contacts even angrier is to blow hot air directly into them. The things we do for beauty. Eyebrows. What am I doing? Back in the tail. Whoa. Perfect. 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 <laughs> okay, brows? Good. Lashes? Good. What's our next step?
did I do this effect? What did I do last time? Did I just use charcoal? I'm gonna see how this works. do this. Stop. Perfect. We're gonna fucking put blood all over this shit. Bitch, yes. Fucking rip. My whole brush tip just vanished. I don't know where it went. Is it... Is it gone? Okay, I guess I'll use a different brush now. <laughs> I'm just getting fake blood literally fucking everywhere. Everything I own is covered in fake blood in this moment. Yeah. Rip. Rip. Fuck yeah, bitch! Now we're getting bloody. Okay, I love it. You'll love to see it. Is it worth ruining my makeup a little bit? Absolutely. Absolutely! Okay, so we are using Final Seal. Oh, I gotta do my lips. It's important. Day. Bitch, I look sickening. <laughs> Okay, so we're using Final Steel. <laughs> I tried to hulk it and it didn't work. Um, <laughs> oops. The, uh, just to replace this me. Oh god, it smells like it's so bad. Sickening. Um, I wish I could find the original photo that I'd used as my inspiration for this look. Back when I first did it, because I kind of just looked up devils on, I think, online and found a bunch of photos and kind of mashed them together. Okay, so we're just gonna do like our hands. I like the idea of it being kind of like a burnt sort of look, you know what I mean? Like, I've crawled from the fucking ashes of hell. Don't get it on the top. Here we go. I've reached into the fires of hell itself.
I've reached into the fire of hell itself. I like it. It's turning out. This is mostly what we're doing here today. Okay, bitches, I think we're fucking ready. See you soon.